Hello, this is Salamander Anagram, and welcome to this course on the new blocks framework in Reactor 6. For more Reactor tutorials, check out ADSRcourses.com. We have a bunch of free Reactor content and much, much more. All right, in this first video, I'll be talking about what the blocks framework is and how it works from an end user's perspective. And in the next couple of videos, I'll show you how to build your own ensembles using the blocks framework. And finally, I'll show you how to build your own modules that can connect into the existing uh, blocks framework modules. So what the blocks framework is, is a collection of modules based upon some of Native Instruments' best algorithms. So we have the oscillator and the filter from the Monarch synth. Um, we have access to the delay and the reverb from rounds. We have access to the new driver filter and distortion and we have just a large collection of oscillators and sequencers and LFOs that are all very high-end. In addition each of these modules has a built-in modulation network which is really fantastic and really simple to use even for beginners at Reactor. So this is exciting for a few reasons. First of all, since this is all part of the Reactor Factory Library, that means we can now share ensembles using, for example, the Monarch filter, which you were not able to do previously, so that's pretty exciting. I also like it because it does a good job of creating a middle ground between end users, people who only use um, previously built reactor ensembles, and builders who um, focus mainly on creating their own stuff in reactor. And so the blocks framework kind of creates a nice middle ground that allows beginners to learn how to patch together um, their own reactor ensembles. I think that's something that's been sorely missing in Reactor for some time, so it's pretty exciting to see that as well. And finally, this just represents a huge leap forward from the previous Reactor library, which was just not as well documented, it didn't look as good, etc. And it provides a framework for builders to add on to. So using the components that have been supplied with the blocks framework, it's possible to create our own blocks modules that will fit in with the existing modules. And I think with the scope and power of the blocks framework, you'll see a lot of users um, who will want to do that. All right, so let's take a look at an ensemble I made using the blocks framework, and I'll show you how it works from an end user's viewpoint. As with any synth, understanding the signal flow is key. Here I've created something very simple and generic. So we have four oscillator types. These are just different os oscillators from the blocks framework. They're all mixed together using a mixer in the bottom left hand corner. The amplitude is controlled by an envelope after mixing. And then the sound is sent through a filter and a reverb unit. And finally, on the right-hand side of 
the bottom row, we have our two modulators. Next, let's check out how the modulation works. You'll notice that most modules have little buttons marked A and B in the upper right hand corners. And when you press on them, they call up another set of controls. These controls are the modulation depth from our modules marked mod A and mod B. So for the cutoff of the filter, you'll notice that B is already turned up and the envelope is controlling the cutoff of the filter. If we would like the LFO to affect the cutoff of the filter as well, we simply switch over to the set of controls for the A modulation and turn it up. So that's how to use the modulation and you'll notice that almost all of the modules have controls for this, everything but the node-in module at the top in this ensemble. And this is really easy to set up from a builder's perspective as well, which is great because new builders have a lot of trouble creating uh, modulation networks. Up at the top of each oscillator, there's a key tracking button. Uh, the one for the Monarch oscillator is actually a little hidden down here. And if you turn key tracking off, you can set a constant frequency for your oscillator. So this is something you would typically use in FM synthesis, but you can also set the oscillators to be high speed modulation sources as well. There are other miscellaneous controls at the top of some of the modules, such as the reset buttons for the, some of the oscillators and the LFO. We also have an interesting one at the top of the LFO and in certain other ensemble uh, modules as well, which controls whether the source is unipolar or bipolar. So a unipolar source will only modulate above where we have our knob set to, whereas the bipolar goes both above and below. All right, so that wraps up our introduction to the blocks framework and what you can expect when using an ensemble that's been built around it. In the next video, I'll show how you can easily build your own ensembles using the blocks framework. If you've ever wanted to hack a Monarch filter into another synth, here's your chance. It's a lot easier than you might think. Once again, this is Salamander Anagram. For more free reactor content, please check out reactortutorials.com. Thanks for watching.